Hey, good morning everyone. It's Lori from Art Laura. Thanks for joining me today in my channel. And today we're going to have fun. I'm still on this bloom train of the single bloom. Today is 18 by 24. Gallery, no, 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 I lied. It's the level two. Um, this one almost seems warped, so I'm gonna have to figure this one out. I haven't put the pillow down yet, but maybe it's just my, um, my spinner. Anyway, we're gonna do some fun colors today. I'm doing green, two greens and a gold and an off-white. Um, I was going to add blue to it, and then I thought, mm, it's kind of boring, the blue that I made. So I'm adding a violet, and I'm not even exactly sure what it is. So I won't be able to tell you exactly what that is. That will be my mystery color. But the rest of the colors I made myself, and uh, well, not all of them, TLP Harvest Gold, didn't make that one. Uh, wish I did, but I didn't. Um, so anyway, we're going to get down to the cameras. We're going to make a mess. We're going to have some fun. I'm going to uh, uh, not have any negative space, still on just a ginormous bloom on uh, 18 by 24. I want to try to maintain more color. Uh, kind of been hitting the pillow a little bit here and there. So I want to try to have a lot of color. So I got to thinking at about two o'clock this morning, um, I don't think I'm laying down enough paint for my puddle. So I'm, I'm going to add more paint today. I mean, it can always spin off. If you have more, you can spin it off. If you have less, you're kind of stuck. So I think I need to add more of my acrylic paint. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get you down. All righty, here we go. So this one up first is Hunter Green. And um, I added a little bit of yellow and then it was not as green as I wanted it to get. So then I added um, just a scant of black. And so um, I thought, well, should have just added more of the green and a little bit of the black and not the yellow. But we did get the we did get the color that I wanted, so that was good. Okay, up next is oh, Bubble City. Just it'd be a dream to never see a bubble again. But that dream will not come true. This is the gorgeous Yamalicious TLP. And we are going to really put some of that on there because I really want that to come uh, show up. It looks so pretty next to that bold green. This one here is my mystery color and I have no idea what it is. Um, it's a pretty violet, but I think it'd be really pretty, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, running in there, here and there. So we're going to add a good portion of that as well because um, it'll be really pretty with that green. There, I'm not going to be afraid to add that. This here is white and I did the Lucas white with already made up TLP to give it, um, you can see the difference between my pillow and the white in my little cup here. And we are just going to do this for fun. Because, you know, it's going to lighten some of the colors up potentially, but I don't want it to lighten up too much, but I do want to see some white in there, but hopefully not my pillow white, because that I don't want. This one here is, um, I started out with uh, just a scant of the hooker green. Then I added another scant of yellow and then another scant of black. And um, I think this turned out really pretty. And I think it'll be a nice pairing with the dark green and it looks luscious with that violet. I wish I knew what that violet was because 
I'm gonna have to save the tub because um, I, I want to make that color again and I don't know what it is. So we're just going to do, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. We're just going to do that. And let's just drizzle a little bit more gold. Okay, black cell activator. It's the oxide black with the Asi Flow. Three to one. And you know, it seems a little thin. So I think I'm going to pause for just one second and I'm going to thicken that up just a teeny bit. I'll be right back. All right, we're going to do this. And we're going to do Kufan High Air. Looking for my halo. Not really seeing one. All right, we're going to give it our best shot anyway. Okay.
Okay, that took a bit, but all is good. Uh, when I spin this out, hopefully this will really do its thing. So I'm gonna give this time to set up. I may have to mm -mm -mm -mm, uh, encourage it a little bit because I'm not liking all that black, obviously. And let's just see what I have to do with my edges. So I will be right back. All right, <clears throat> excuse me, I have my coffee and we're going to spin. Um, I did have to encourage the center a little tiny bit. I may have to take out some cell activator there. We shall see. Let's just see what happens here. I know I'm going to lose the sides, the shorter sides first, because I blew those out pretty close, but that's okay. Um, mm. My coffee's cold, but it still tastes good. Um, all right, let's just take a peek. A little peek-a-poo here and see what we have. I kind of like the colors. They are very, very pretty. Okay, let's do this again. And uh, I put a lot of paint underneath this canvas. These canvases are lighter weight than the gallery wrap, so they have a tendency to slip and slide a little bit. So I put a lot of paint underneath the back taped side and then pushed it down into the, into the paint. And then I let that set for a while, maybe two to three minutes. I let that set and then that just kind of glues it down into place. All right, we're looking good on this one end. We've got some negative space over here which I'd like to get rid of. Oh, this is really pretty. I am in love with this color palette. Wow, that is fun. May have to do another one. All right, we're going to go this way because I know I still have a lot of paint in the center and I may have to dip a doodle in the center there with my finger to get some of that black cell activator out of there, but we'll see. We shall see because sometimes what I do is I will take a cell that I like and just kind of blow on that cell and make it a little bit bigger. And then it covers up the space, but I don't know if I can do that with this one. So we shall see. There might be too much negative space and I don't wanna do that. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, we just have this little tiny bit right there, but, um, Oh yeah, this is really, really pretty. The greens uh, paired very well with the violet. Um, the gold is, do I need to say, <clears throat> incredible. Um, yeah, you know, actually there's not um, a whole lot of black like I thought there was. I don't mind it, but I do want to measure. Let me find a really good pointy skewer. Here we go. Um, because when you use your skewers after a while, that tip, uh, the tip of it wears down and you wanna be real accurate. You do not want it to get beyond where the skewer starts to become larger. Uh, and then I hold my breath. Yep, we have to spin again. Not a whole lot, but we do have to spin again. And I don't mind that because I don't mind stretching out a little bit more of the cell action. So let's do this. We're going to, why are you crooked? See, it's sliding. So we're going to turn this like so. And then I really wanna take some of this off because that will encourage it to slide even more as well as over here. I'm gonna just take a little bit of that off. And then I'm, oh, see, it just slid. Okay, I'm going to, I probably should have put push pins underneath. So let's do this. We're going to go gentle though. So if that slides off, you will see a grown woman cry. And I can see it's turning a little tiny bit. 
and I don't have anything that I can uh, I should have put push pins down that's what I should have done but I didn't so whatever um, I think what I'm going to do because I do want to spin it one more time is I'm going to lift this and take out some of the paint that's underneath. I think I got quite a bit there. That's better. It's sitting in a massive puddle of paint from the spin-off, and we don't need quite that much on there. So let's do that. There we go. I'm not saying that that's going to work, but I think it might. We shall see. All right. So, and there's nothing for me to grab onto. Boy, I'm really a ding-dong sometimes because I should have known better. But for the most part, um, we're not going to go real vigorous uh, with the spin -a rooney This center looks really cool. I'm loving it. So we're just going to go gentle. <gasps> Whoa, did you see that? Yes, you did. Holy guacamole. See what I mean? Okay, so I gotta come up with a plan here so that I can spin this. All right, I shall be right back. Okie doke. So what I did was I scraped all the paint out from underneath it because there was like way more than I had put on. Um, and I think that was just from the spin off and um, I moved it so that now it's in a different spot. So we're going to hold our breath. Okay, one, two, three, hold our breath. Let's do this. Because we do have to spin again. And that's like a really sad spin, but I'm terrified, <clears throat> excuse me, to go any stronger than that. Oh my goodness, note to self, I will never do that again. I will have my push pins in there for sure to lock this little puppy in place. All right, we're going to go a little, once again, seems like it's stable. So we'll just elongate the spin and not go so heavy. We'll just continue it. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding. I did take another little check and it is just a scant thick in the center there from what I like on my skewer. Um, I know that this is redundant but if you don't want to watch me spinning just fast forward. I may I don't know I may even take this part out because I just I don't want to bore you guys but oh my goodness me. All right so yeah see look at that it's not even sticking. So yeah, that's pretty scary. I'm gonna pop you right away while I got you here. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna check it. Okay, success. I, I'm, I'm very happy and I'm very nervous and I wanna just be done with this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am pleased as a gopher in dirt with this look, this achievement here. I'm very, very happy. Um, I got my cells going through. <clears throat> um, love the color palette. I may have to do another one. Um, I think what I might do is um, maybe with this color palette, I will do one of my uh, linear blooms on a 12 by 36 because this color palette is stunning. I love the orientation this way, where it comes up in that direction. Your eye comes up and it pulls up, and all these longer cells are coming up. This is really pretty through here. I'm in love with that, uh, in love with this here. I just love how soft and gentle uh, and, and uh, wispy everything turned out. So let's take you down and we're going to show you the wet results. And all right, let me get a grip on my phone there. Okay, so here we have this beautiful, beautiful 
shimmer of the gold and that violet is just stunning with the greens. The greens are so, so pretty. There's a little bit up on the left there, uh, the darker green, and it works very well with the lighter green. Oh, so happy with it. This is really pretty right in here. I love this right in here. It's just so soft and it, the, uh, the uh, lacing there uh, it's just really pretty. And there's the cells. Real, real pretty cells. Yep. Very, very, very happy with it. Love that right there. That is fun. And then there is where it goes up to the end. Very happy with it. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I so appreciate all of you. Um, without you, I wouldn't... Um, be doing this, you know? I'm doing it for myself, but I'm doing it to have fun with all of you. We learn from each other and we hang out with each other. And um, this is like huge for me. I'm so excited to be here. I'm just a little grain of sand on this big ginormous beach of artists, but you know what? I'm still part of it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Leave me a comment. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, bye.